Alright, hello, I'm Liam, this is Joanna, and we're gonna talk about our one year of being married. Okay, so to get started with, we are, as he said, about to turn one year of happily being married. And uh, we have a couple of questions that we wanted to talk about. So the first one is, what is it like being married? What is it like being married to you? Hmm, what is it like being married to me? I think that... I think to start off, it's just been a lot of fun. It also takes a lot of the stress out of the relationship because you know that the person that you're with is in it for the long run and you know that you don't have to be as careful as maybe you needed to be in when you were just dating. Um, but there are more responsibilities. So while it is a lot more fun and sometimes a lot easier, I guess for in our case it can be a lot. E it was a lot easier for me just because we're also really good friends and that we built our friendship as well as building the relationship. <laughs> okay. What about for you? Um, what is it like being married? Being married has been beautiful. It has been really, really fun. I think, you know, whenever you are about to get married, people can scare you and, and tell you you know, oh, just wait till this, or just wait, the first year's the harder, so like, you know, this and that, and, and it really, I guess, brings anxiety, even before you're <laughs> married, right? Um, but once you're in it, you realize that it's so beautiful, and uh, so much fun. Not to take away, I mean, he is my husband, and that's like the number one thing, right? Uh, I see him as my husband, of course, but he's also my best friend. And I think that's something that has just made this marriage even better. The fact that we're able to have fun with each other and truly love each other and and have fun and enjoy our time together. I think that's what it's like. Well, being it helps married. that we're always trying to spend time with each other, right? Yeah. And, uh, and it also helps that we always want to spend time with each other. So that's one of the things that, that I think helped us the most. And uh, second question is, what is something that you have learned? Joanna, what is something <laughs> you have learned? I don't know. Uh, that's a tough one. Are you asking me because you don't know yet? Okay. Yes. Yeah. They're, I, they're tough I questions. I didn't know what these questions were before we started. Yeah. So something that I have learned. I have learned to be patient. Um, he... I think with Liam, right, um, or with anybody, it's important to be like patient with it. <laughs> uh, just being patient, uh, patience for sure. Something else that I have learned is doing things no longer for yourself, but for the other person. Out of love, right? Um, I have learned to care now for somebody else. And I think that is just a major highlight for me because it's it's really an act of love and an act of service that I feel you take on once you marry your spouse. And that, that would be the biggest one that I would say, um, which has been nice. I, I mean, but also I've learned so much and um, and it's been beautiful, I guess, along the way. But, yeah. I think for me, the biggest thing to learn was how to balance the time because we're both we're both students. She's pretty much about to finish, but our first year of marriage, we, we were both students. We um, were trying to figure out the whole marriage life, um, considering we had never lived together beforehand. Uh, so there was there was a lot of, of balancing between school, and for her, she was doing school and work because of her internship hours and stuff. So. So like balancing school, work, um, the marriage, and everything was, it, it was tough at times, but uh, I think through this past year, we kind of figured out how to give each other the time that we, we needed, as well as the individual time that we needed to do the things such as studying or whatever. 
And now for the other question that we wanted to talk about is how has God been reflected in our relationship after marriage? I think we've always put in our relationship, we've always put focus on God and uh, our Catholic faith. We've always tried to put an emphasis and as it might sound a little bit bad, but we always put each other second to God. So we always made sure to spend time praying. Uh, we would pray together. We go to church together. We've gone to church together since we since we started dating. And uh, I think putting God in the center of our relationship kind of helped to to find God with reflected in each other. At least from my point of view, once we got married, and I can see I can see God's love for me through her. When she try, when she cares for me, when she when she when she helps cook for me, or when she helps clean for me, um, and I think she she feels the same way when I do these things for her as well. Yeah, and I would say my response would be similar. I feel um, God has been reflected in our relationship after marriage by allowing us to experience different things, such as the love that we have for each other. There was obviously uh, love before, um, but the love that we're able to experience now, it's very different. And it feels very nurturing. And it, there's been moments when you just know you can feel the presence of the Lord through your spouse. And that is just one of those moments that I can't really be specific or describe but you just feel his love through them and sometimes even the sacrifice that's when you can also understand and see uh, why God has allowed certain things to happen or not to happen um, but that's been for the most especially part. since before we got married we, you're always relying on other people to, to help take care of you whether it's uh, your parents to help you help make food for you or uh, your parents to help pay for some stuff maybe if you if you don't have enough money but once we got married and we moved out and we, we went on our own finally it was like we only have each other to, to, to care after each other and sure sometimes our parents might be in the picture or my parents might help but it, at the end of the day now it's just us two alone versus everybody else that was there all the time before yeah, and the second question is, how can you feel God's love in marriage? How can you feel God's love in marriage? I think we kind of talked about that. Mm -hmm. um, I think just by taking care of each other, but wanting to take care of each other. I, I, I would say the same thing. I think for me, that would be the, the biggest one, right? Um, you are able to feel God's love during or in the marriage by how nurturing you can be which would fall under, you know, taking care of each other. And um, more than anything, like the selflessness that comes with caring for each other. Yeah. Um, the selflessness of doing actions for each other, even if it's something we don't like to do. We, uh, something that he does, and I'm gonna talk about this, right? Is uh, whenever I was working or whenever I was doing my internship, I had a really hard time because I had to go to bed pretty late, wake up pretty early, and I had responsibilities to do. So um, it would be, it would feel bad waking up early, right? <laughs> Especially if you're not a morning person. And uh, you're not a morning person. I, I'm not a morning <laughs> person. And like even 10 extra minutes in bed really feels like it makes a difference. Now, Liam didn't have to do this. But he would choose to wake up early in the morning to prepare breakfast. To be fair, I'm also more of a morning person. He is more of a morning <laughs> person, but still. You know, he had like no responsibility in doing this. He could have still remained asleep. But he chose to wake up um, a little bit before I woke up. That way he could uh, have my breakfast ready, help me by cooking whatever I was going to take for lunch. Uh, and that meant a lot to me. I think that's something that I would see. And I would appreciate tremendously and I would just feel um, I guess God's love in a way um, because you know we're just two random people that met each other and fell in love and decided to just care for each other for like 
the rest of their lives. <laughs> yeah, I think another another way that I mean, at least I feel like on her part, because she's somebody that that likes the personal time. It's making the time to to go and do things with her, even if I don't maybe don't want to, like maybe go to the stores mm -hmm. or. Um, especially since we're busy a lot during the day, since we have our own things to do, it, I, I think she appreciates, she's kind of verbalized it to me, maybe not explicitly, but that, it, that she wants me to have more free time available to go with her, to do random things with her, and so part of it is just making that free time, uh, despite the busy schedule, to go and just hang out. And I think that also came to like understand that he is pretty busy most of the time. He is in uh, he's in med school, so as y'all know, it's pretty tough at the beginning. Uh, so also understanding, uh, compromising, and understanding as well. Now, um, how do you know if you married the right person? You want to go first. Uh, How do you know if you married the right person? Um, I can say for sure, number one, uh, for us, how I feel like I know I married the right person is it gets you closer to God. That is like number one, getting you closer to God, not further away. You feel peace with them. You feel happiness, joy. Um, you feel safe with them. And in our case, I, I feel like, you know, I can have so much fun with him he is truly um i keep on saying it but like my best friend and he gets me closer to the lord and i think with him i grow he doesn't uh, so far <laughs> he doesn't punish me for anything that i do wrong but when i do do something that is not maybe seen us right talks to me and helps me understand things better if i feel like i have made a mistake um, he never makes me feel less than, uh, I would say on the contrary, he helps me grow from that and always gives me unconditional positive regard, like no matter what, and um, just tries to love me for me and doesn't really complain at all about me being chiflada sometimes, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Chiflada is spoiled. Yeah. Very spoiled. <laughs> uh, which I can get sometimes because he's he spoils me so much like he has always set such a high bar <laughs> but. Um, yeah I would I would second everything she said for me as well I think I think another thing would be the person that that so <laughs> the, the reason I know is because she loves me despite me sometimes going out of my way to to annoy her, <laughs> um, there was a there was a meme we saw the other day where the the kid walked up to the mom and tried punching the mom <laughs> and, and hit the chair and punched the chair and started crying, and and I just uh, I think of that because a lot of times I go out of my way to do like those small things to to like press her buttons and knowing that she she loves me despite. Um, mm -hmm. Despite being annoying sometimes. Yeah, that's when I say, like, patience. <laughs> patience. Like, God knew that patience was, like, <laughs> lowest on my list. And yeah. with Liam, it's like every time, every being, day. Doing the playfully annoying things, which I guess when she's annoyed aren't very, aren't very funny to her, but... Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I try to, you know, and I say, you know what? I need time. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, he he plays around. But sometimes tell me you play around too much, Liam. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I think it's really fun. You know, it's it's having that like moments of joy. That even though I get annoyed, I know he does like he's just being playful and he just yeah. wants to have fun. And it's just about having married your best friend, building up the friendship while you're building the, the relationship. And I, I think we, we really did do that. We, we really focused on not just the relationship, but also the friendship. And that, that helped strengthen what was going to be and what has become our marriage. And I think building that foundation from the beginning really, really helped. And, and that's, that's what has led us to have such a happy first year of marriage so far. God willing, it continues being a, yeah. a happy, healthy marriage. Yeah, that's something that I 
that I really wish for because so far you hear people, as I said, you know, scaring you. Um, so far for this first year of marriage, it has been, I, j I would just literally say beautiful. Um, I see, I see Liam for who he is, right? But I choose to love him with and despite his flaws. And I think that's what is important. Just like he has decided to love me with and despite my flaws. Um, because obviously we are not perfect. So we have a lot of flaws just like anybody. <laughs> but uh, it's it's just nice knowing that you see the person. You know their strengths. You know, you know their weaknesses. And yet you still choose to love them. Right? And grow with them. And be friends with them. And always provide uh, like a helping hand I think that's just so nice um, it has I mean I can see why people say it can be challenging at times but I think for us something that has really helped out is communication I know people talk about it but communication and, and listening like active listening skills and compromising that yeah. has been really big especially since it can be it can be challenging but Mostly because you're going from a one-person lifestyle to a two-person lifestyle where you're not alone anymore. Now you actually do have to take the, the second person into account all the time and pretty much everything that you do. And, and so it is, it is that adjustment and it can get a, 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 little, bit, a little bit challenging sometimes. Um, but, but with communication and with both partners willing to, to listen to what the other person is saying, it really... It really helps in the challenging moments to, to really get through the problem. Also, a little disclaimer. Uh, we're not experts. We're about to turn one year, so <laughs> but don't, don't, you know, don't think that we are like 50 years of experience. No, no, no. Just barely one. About <laughs> to turn one. But uh, so far, this is what's been making our relationship so special, so beautiful. Um, and, and really learning to understand I would say red flags going back to how do you know you married the right person or if you're going to marry the right person if you feel like there are some red flags there it is so important to go over them before you actually mm -hmm. make that commitment I think that's really important and you know at the, at the bottom of your heart you know you cannot turn a blind eye and you have to address it from the beginning and um, we come obviously you know we look different. We come from different cultures, right? So, I think, I think that would be like a good example, right? That even if you are from a different culture, being able to listen and understand each other is very important. I would communicate to Liam at the beginning of our relationship um, why we wouldn't do certain things, why I didn't like specific things, um, and he just always listened and he would understand and he wouldn't really make me feel less than or make me feel like an outcast you know i think he was always very open and receptive to um to even change right because he went from like a specific lifestyle to a total different one um but i think that was very very helpful but i had to address it from the beginning i told him this is what i believe and before we get even like further right i want you to understand this i know if you're willing to um I guess accept me for who I am and respect me in always, right? And I think that's that was very important. Definitely. I agree. Yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to share with? As for now, I think we covered it. Again, I didn't know about these questions beforehand. And I didn't really think through them. <laughs> <laughs> so All I was told have. was that we were gonna make this video, so Yeah. And it was a nice video to make. I've been wanting to make uh like a one-year video of uh, what it has been like um, yeah but can't wait to rewatch this in 10 years Oof. with Papacino like, oh we have Papacino Leo oh okay, you can see him there yeah he wanted to be here like, Leo. he's just here Leo say hi to the camera say hi to the camera doing a little blazing oh. <laughs> okay well it was so much fun making this video We'll see y'all later. Bye! Bye. <laughs>